The standoff that lasted several hours in Japan has come to an end. Police have taken the son of a local politician into custody, but not before he left four people dead in his wake. The suspect, who was detained after a 12-hour standoff with police, is a 31-year-old son of the head of Nakano City Council in Nagano Prefecture. Police responded to reports late Thursday of a man dressed in camouflage stabbing a woman and firing with a hunting rifle. The son then barricaded himself in his father's house with a gun and shot at police. The crack of rifle fire caught on camera late at night. Two police officers were shot and killed. The woman who was stabbed was pronounced dead after she arrived at a hospital. Another elderly woman also died after an apparent knife attack. Local reports say that she had been lying on the ground outside her house since Thursday afternoon and police had been unable to get to her. Few other details were known, including the suspect's motive. The suspect's mother and aunt, who were in the house with him, had escaped safely. ご遺族の皆様にご遺族の皆様に心より奥へみを申し上げます。また、当県警の警察官2名が殉職することとなり、警察本部長としては通婚の極みです。Despite the shooting and killing of Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe last year, shootings are extremely rare in the country where gun ownership is tightly controlled and a tough vetting process exists for anyone who wants to own a gun. According to the National Public Safety Commission, the suspect had a license for a hunting rifle.